there are two ways to add transitions in the VN app. The first way is when you're working on the primary narrative here, that's the bottom layer where all your clips are highlighted in yellow. You can see between each clip, there's a plus sign. That's where you're gonna find your transitions. So I want to add a transition between clip one and clip two. I'm gonna tap on the plus sign between those two clips and it brings up all my transition options. The most common transition is probably the cross dissolve. When I tap on the cross dissolve, you can see that the duration slider at the bottom defaults to 0.8 seconds. That's because this is a really short clip. It's only two seconds long. I can make the fade longer or I can make it shorter depending on the pace of my video. And if my clips were longer, I would have more options. There are other transitions here. I like the blur one. I think that's often quite nice in a montage style video and the zoom effect is quite effective as well. You've got two choices when you apply your transition. You can either click the right hand tick, which is just a single tick, and that will apply the transition to that one clip you're working on, or tap apply to all. And when we come out, you can see the cross dissolve transition now has been applied to all of my clips. And that can save quite a bit of time. Although in most projects, you'd probably want to vary your transitions. You probably want to, wouldn't want to do the same thing all the time. I'll show you now the second way that you're going to make transitions. And this is when you're working with the second layer. That's all the, the blue clips. So let's say you're doing a video where there's someone presenting to camera or you've done an interview and you've added these cutaway clips on the second layer. Well, it's slightly different the way that you do transitions on this layer. I'll show you first of all, let's say I wanted to add a transition at the start of this first clip. So we see me talking and instead of just a hard edit here, I want to have it slowly fading on. I tap on that blue clip and I get this two bar option up above. I tap on the motion option and here are all my animations. You can see there's the cross dissolve that we had earlier. There's different animations for this uh, layer. You don't have blur, you don't have zoom, but you've got a few other ones that you don't get on that primary layer. Um, I'll show you more of them in a minute, but it's important to note the top menu here in animation on the left hand side and then there's out animation. So that's obviously if you want to apply the animation to the start of your clip or the end of your clip. We're going for the, the start of the clip now. So in animation, I want it to fade in and I want it to be quite a slow fade. So I'm gonna go for 1.5 seconds. If I wanted some of these other transitions, which aren't always appropriate to be honest, but I'll just show you one feature of them. Let's say I go for the reveal and it drops down from the top. You can see when I select that um, transition, there are four little dots underneath the transition. These give me different options. If I tap it again, we move on to the second option, which is a reveal from the left, reveal from the bottom, and the fourth option is reveal from the right, and so on. And that works for quite a few of those transitions. I'll go back to fade, 1.5 seconds, and I'm just going to apply it to, well, I'm going to apply it to all the clips actually and that should apply it to all my cutaway clips. Yes, the second clip also now has this fade. But you'll see straight away there's a slight problem. That's fine for the first clip to have a nice slow fade from me speaking to me clipping on the mic in that cutaway clip. But in the second clip, what happens is because of this dissolve, for a brief 1.5 seconds, we see me speaking underneath the cutaway clip and you don't really want that. You want it just to stick with the, the cutaway footage. So the way to overcome that is I'm just gonna pinch the screen to inwards to, to squash up my project so you can see all my clips at once. I want to move the second clip and have it overlapping slightly with the first clip so that we don't get that bleed through from the primary layer down at the bottom. So the second clip there of 3.89 seconds, I'm gonna to touch and hold, touch and hold on it there and detach it from the timeline and then just drag it over and give me a 1.5 second overlap, hopefully, until we don't see my face underneath. So I need to drag it over just a little bit further. And that's that's ideal. Of course, the other way to, to change that is go back into the motion and change the duration so it's not quite such a long cross dissolve, maybe just one second and then we definitely won't see my face underneath there. And you can do the same for all your clips. You can now bring the third clip 
a bit closer or, or just drag it to extend it if you want it to be a bit longer. And this time if we've got it overlapping underneath, then we perhaps need to do this cross dissolve on the top layer. So we go to motion and this time we go to out animation and we'll have it fading out and we should get the same effect. We're, no, we're now fading on to the third cutaway clip there, which is the, the close-up of the microphone. So that's two ways to add transitions. On the second layer with overlays, where you're working with that menu that pops out at the top of the clip, and we've got that motion option there. And the first way was if you were working on the primary narrative layer, usually on a video that's purely visuals, uh, a visual montage or maybe a, a voiceover type video, then what you're working with is the little plus buttons in between each of the clips.